Ah, we made it to Monday. Here we are on May 21st, 2018. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon up here in northeastern Ohio. And to the right of that chemtrail, <laughs> we have a we have a 46% lit moon. It's up about 20 degrees above the horizon now. And it's very washed out because of the sun behind me. But so we'll take a look at the sky so far. After watching J7409's weather report, uh, it seems we have some bad weather incoming, or at least uh, cloudy ones. So over here in the south we have the sun, and we'll take a look at it here. We see our ghosting and lens flare, reflections, refractions, whatever name you want to call it stuff. From the camera. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't see any sunspots or anything unusual up there. At least not with this view. So we're gonna let this do a, a fast forward speed and whew. boy, it's hot too. It's 87 degrees right now. Humidity's not bad like it is down in Florida. It's only 45% right now, so. Yeah, the Gulf states, they have a bad with the humidity. We will too when summer hits, but uh, nothing like they do. You know what? I'm not liking that. Um, it's just going to be too white and washed out. So I think I'm going to stop this uh, early. Actually, I think I'll start it up there, up at the very tip. We can see uh, things shooting down, can't you? I don't know if it's birds or bugs or what it is, but... But that purple thing you see about the uh, 5 o'clock position, that should be a effect from the camera. Either a ghost, flare, reflection, whatever. Boy, more and more of those uh, white things shooting down, isn't there? That's interesting. Who knows, it could be pollen too. Uh, I don't know. Could be interdimensional. <laughs> you just don't know anymore. I don't know, I have a feeling the majority of this is uh, bugs because they are out in full force. But you never know. Once we get in on the computer, we might be able to see better. So, all right. Let's go out, take this off, and take a look at the rest of the sky. Cloud's about to go over. And take a look over there in the west. And northwest. Yeah, we're in the back part of the yard. So we catch the uh, moon because it's over in the east. And so, you know, that'll probably do it except, um, I may let the three minutes that's left here go out this way. I can't see the cloud, that white cloud that was to the uh, right, but quite often that uh, filter does pick it up once I get it on the computer. Jeez, oh man, it's broken up already. Look at that. 
I'm going to have to look again because that looked like a big puffy cloud there. <laughs> and now it's pretty much dissipated. Hmm. Actually, it looks like cloaking, doesn't it? Sort of like that one I caught last year. But the cloud is still there, but just uh, being masked. Less than a minute, or I'm sorry, less than a minute and a half to go before the uh, camera shuts off. Alright, the birds and squirrels want me out of here, so I'm going to go. You all take care now. Bye. Now, damn, just a half hour ago, I took some footage of the sun when it was clear and mentioned I didn't see a sunspot, but when I went in to review the footage, I did see it. And it was about the 11 o'clock position. Let's see if we can zero in on it. Okay, it's nearer to uh, the 12 o'clock position there. But there it is. And I also just checked uh, spaceweather.com and Raven. And they don't show any sunspots, but we can see the white patches and the uh, dark spot there even through the clouds. So we'll see when they update their website. I could give it a number, but if I do, they'll just change it to a different one. <laughs> like the last time. I even checked the numbering sequence and, and I followed suit and they just skipped the number I used. <laughs> But anyway, that should give us a view, and then one with the clouds. That's always a cool shot. I don't know where those clouds came from, man. They weren't there a half hour ago. I don't even think it was a half hour. It just took me that long to uh, download the footage from the camera and start it up and reviewed the first uh, few minutes and there it was. There was a lot of things flying around up there. I don't know if they were bugs and birds and or orbs and even pollen, interdimensional hell, I don't know. but. It's a shame I didn't get it before. Duck on it. It's so hard to see in this dang monitor. And maybe, well, let's take a look at the sky too, so we know what it is. There we are. And the sun's over in the west southwest. In the other video, I said uh, south, and that would have been southwest. At the time, I was craning my neck backwards trying to find the sun. And to get away from that tree, might as well get another look at the moon. Uh, let's see. It's so hard to find. There it is. Right in the middle of the screen.
which it's going to have to fight through those incoming clouds coming in from the west. As it rises higher, that's a 46% moon. And that's what's heading its way. That stuff there. All right, that should do it. They should have gotten it. Let's take a look up here real quick. Yeah, I've got everything all cockeyed. Sorry about that. Damn it. My ground is so <laughs> uneven. Anyway, that'll do it. Okay, y'all take care now. Bye.